I'd like to call Ambassador Howard Schaefer up. We have, how we manage is an incredible process each year that churns through all sorts of books uh, and produces decisions. And I'm going to turn the podium over to him to announce this year's a winner. Thank you. Thank you very much, and good afternoon. It's been almost four decades since Jimmy Carter entered the White House to begin what turned out to be a one-term presidency. A great deal has been written since then about his foreign policy successes and failures. There's no end of books about Camp David, the Panama Canal Treaties, and the Iran hostages crisis. But Nancy Mitchell's outstanding book, Jimmy Carter in Africa, is the first in-depth account of President Carter's diplomatic efforts to resolve the crises that his administration faced in the Horn of Africa and it, in what was then Rhodesia. As we found in the book committee, <clears throat> Jimmy Carter in Africa has a lot going for it. Dr. Mitchell's research is nothing short of awesome. She has left no source unturned. She has interviewed not only Carter and his inner policy-making circle, but legions of diplomatic working stiffs, <laughs> the likes of department desk officers, INR researchers, National Security Council staffers, embassy officials, and congressional aides, not to speak of many knowledgeable foreign sources. The result of this research and her own keen understanding of the issues at stake is a comprehensive, incisive, and highly readable account of Carter's policies in Africa and how they were put together. Dr. Mitchell has also offered some useful insights about the president's style of operation and the factors that drove him to adopt the foreign policies he did. Perhaps most importantly, she links his approach to Rhodesia with his experience in dealing with the challenges he faced in domestic politics, not least the influence the changing racial contours of American life in the 1980s had on the way he looked at foreign policy issues. This probing of the intersection of Carter's foreign and domestic policies is one of her great contributions to our out understanding of the president and his era. Now, let me get the award. And I'll read the citation to you. Uh, to Nancy Mitchell for Jimmy Carter in Africa, a splendid, zealously researched study of the impact that President Carter's views of the role of race in domestic American politics had on his administration's efforts to resolve dangerous crises in Rhodesia and East Africa. And here you are, and congratulations. And with it goes a check for $5,000. Well, I won't speak as long as my book is. Um, You've made me uh, very happy. I want especially to thank Ambassador Schaefer and the book committee. In a way, um, my book is really a love letter to the difficult art of diplomacy. And for you, above all, to honor it is simply wonderful. <coughs> I'd like to acknowledge my sister, Debbie Fitch, 
who's here today with me and who has always supported me. And I'd also like to thank Joe Brinley, who is also here and who, as head of the Wilson Center Press, gracefully shepherded my manuscript into a book. And I'd like to acknowledge Stanford University Press and my home base, the great North Carolina State University. Most of all, I want to thank you, all the ambassadors and the State Department officials who wrote endless memos and who agreed to be interviewed for this book. You helped me appreciate the three characteristics that I think define diplomacy and that I tried to highlight in my book. First, doggedness. Especially when struggling to resolve the Rhodesian Civil War, the members of the US State Department displayed extraordinary doggedness. When it seemed impossible, when Congress obstructed them, when the African leaders balked, when the public lost interest, the State Department kept plugging away. Second, teamwork. To paraphrase Hillary Clinton, successful diplomacy takes a village. I marvel at the intricate teamwork that was on display in the execution of Carter's Africa policy. Third, and finally, joy. Diplomacy might be an unsung and at times deeply frustrating profession, but it clearly has moments of pure joy. I hope that I conveyed these in my book. Doggedness, teamwork, joy. And now you have returned the favor and given me a moment of pure joy. Thank you.